Whew, all right, y'all. This is gonna this is gonna be an interesting video here today. So right now we are chilling here outside of Cabela's. Now you guys know I used to live up here. I used to go to Cabela's all the time. Literally spent like all of my money here. Today we are back and we have a mission that hopefully is going to work. So with these fishing challenges, right? You guys have seen me pick my own lures. You see me ask strangers, you know, to pick my lures. Today we're gonna be kind of going next level. Let me kind of explain. So we're gonna be going into Cabela's. You and me gonna be walking in there. I'm gonna hunt down somebody who looks like they're buying lures. Well, hunt down probably isn't the best. I'm gonna be finding someone who's shopping for lures and I'm gonna be following them around kind of sneakily hopefully i don't get freaking punched and whatever they grab off the shelf to you know go and buy it i'm gonna grab it off the shelf and i'm gonna buy so it yeah i don't know how this is gonna work i would not like recommend doing this we gotta be like sneaky sneaky i'm gonna bring out my inner Ezio. and yeah hopefully we can find somebody who's buying stuff buy the stuff that they're buying and then go to the water and then catch some fish now you might be wondering like how are you gonna film and be you know secretive ish so with the outfit i have on this looks kind of ridiculous hey what's up, dude i mean this is really not a cabela's outfit Whoa. help okay there we go <sighs> All right, we're like basketball shorts. We got like, I don't, I don't know what you call this. To ensure like maximum sneakiness, I'm gonna slip this in the pocket right there. That's gonna be filming. I mean, that's not like unnoticeable. I don't know, man, that's the best we got. All right, so quick mission recap. We're gonna storm Cabela's. We're gonna find somebody who's buying lures for themselves. We're gonna purchase those same lures for ourselves. We're gonna not get beat up and we are gonna catch some fish. Sounds good in theory. I mean, you'd think that if somebody was buying lures for themselves, they'd buy stuff that actually works. So yeah, man, I have absolutely no clue what is gonna happen. Let me stop talking, man. Let's not waste any time here. Let's get into Cabela's. This should definitely be interesting. All right, y'all, here we go. Mission is a go. So we're about to walk into Cabela's right now. I look like a freaking weirdo with the shirt on the phone sticking out whatever we got some people casually entering the store in front of me now i did go on a weekend just to make sure that you know i had as many targets as possible probably shouldn't say targets i just wanted to make sure there's a lot of people there so i could buy whatever lures other people are buying as you guys can see we are entering the fishing section now i did see a couple people shopping already there's a guy right in front of us i was like yo this dude looks like he's looking for some fishing stuff let me you know give him a little follow as not not creepy as it is there was a lot of you guys can see there's a lot of people there until i saw this guy in the blue shirt you see this guy he's really looking intently at these lures over there so i was like yo let me stop let me take a peek at this little bass pro shops knife right here oh all right that was a close one man this dude I, I did shout out to blue dude man he was super selective with the fishing gear he was buying i kind of took that as a good sign i was like yo if he's this you know looking at him this much he must be looking for something super super specific and I, he looked like he knew what he was doing so i just stayed looking at this knife 50 dollars, by the way while we're actually looking at a knife if any of you have like suggestions for a good fillet knife i'm in need of a good fillet knife so if any of you guys like have any brands or anything you know that you really like definitely let me know in the comments below but yeah let's speed this up again dude mr blue guy are you gonna pick a lure boom just as i was saying that i don't know if you guys saw it or not i came over here to get a better vantage point to see exactly what he grabbed he grabbed something so i waited till he kind made his way down the aisle at the end he turned around he's like yo what is this kid with the freaking phone in his pocket doing and he just went on his way so i was like yo this is my chance before i forget exactly what he grabbed it went over and grabbed it myself so i've never actually seen these in store before these were like some big power bait worms but as you guys can see it says 6.99 he grabbed the last one on the thing but i looked at it i read it and then there was some more right under so i snatched those up and i was like wait where'd blue guy go not blue guy not blue guy not blue guy. Right when I thought I lost him. Now I could have just bought lures that anybody else was buying, but I had faith that the blue guy was gonna bring us to the promised land. So I actually spotted him out of the corner of my eye. He's over here looking at freaking fishing reels. Like, is this guy gonna make us have to buy a fishing reel? But then he walks by me again and ultimately he leaves the store. So now I needed to find someone else to help pick our lures. And this guy was a candidate, but he never actually grabbed anything. He was more of a looker than a grabber. So then we come on to this guy right here. Now this guy, he was on a mission, man. He was checking out all these soft plastics, pretty much touching every single one of them until he finally picks one up right around. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, there we go. So that is the first lure that he had actually just picked up there soft plastic so i came around to the other side to get a better vantage point he was still looking man he was still about to get something else eventually now the camera angle wasn't the best but he did just grab something else right there and then he just walks past me so real quick before i forget what he got i went over there i grabbed the first thing it happened to be some pack of bass pro shops tournament series soft plastics and then there was another one here that was super bright color and then i just called it there man we had three lures we we're going out of the store all right y'all so after a little bit of a drive we are finally here at the fishing spot today with our baits that random people selected it's kind of dark in these woods over here so i'm not like extremely extremely confident in the lures that we got like i would never buy 
that stuff specifically myself, but I think that we're hopefully gonna be able to catch a fish here. So actually we're coming up on it right now. This is probably like one of the worst ponds in Delaware to fish. There she blows right there. So pretty much guys, every time I've really been to this pond, it's just not like turned out well. I don't know if y'all can relate, but this is just one of those ponds that's super, super pressured. It just like feels like there's not that many fish in here. Oh, it's also like a walking trail. A lot of people bring their dogs. There's like dogs swimming over there. What is up, my guy? I just want to at least catch one fish out of this body of water here. I see some turtle action, but I don't know, man. Hopefully the fishing gods, right, something moved there. It's actually a pretty big pond too, and there's some fountains and stuff down that way. I don't know, man. Hopefully the fishing gods are on our side here today. All right. So just getting a closer look, these are the three things that we have to fish with here today. We have some Okeechobee Craw Tournament Series River Bugs. Oh, strong plastic smell. Next we got Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series. Look at that freaking thing right there. If the color isn't obnoxious enough, it has all these glitter in it. Dude, I mean, this water is pretty murky. Put that in the bag. And then lastly, you know, I've actually never seen this at the store. This guy, I mean, this was the first guy I was following. This is a seven inch hitworm magnum. I'm gonna throw this probably on the Texas tree. Maybe if it's like super tough fishing, we, I, I don't know, I got some stuff off my sleeve. So we're gonna, we're gonna tie some of this on. I just want one fish. Ooh, all right, y'all. I'm in the mood to jig, so we're gonna be throwing this guy around first. Now, again, I really don't know what to expect here. First cast. I haven't been here. I, I don't know if I said this or not. I used to fish here maybe like a handful of times. I've not been to this body of water literally, what is it, like over a year? A year and a half? Something like that? Like, I have not been here in a long, long time. So I'm pretty much gonna do, man. Jig this around. Oh boy, got a gunky bottom. Ooh, that might not be good. It is kind of interesting though. Every time I've ever come to this body of water, the water here is just like super, super dirty. One thing I do remember sort of ish, I think there's some like submerged structure over here. That's kind of why I'm throwing the jig here too. This is like where I really caught my fish every time I fished here. Dude, there's literally a guy over there throwing bread in the water. Right next to the sign that says do not feed animals. What the heck? What's that, man? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I wasn't trying to point my camera at him. Dude had a whole bag of assorted snacks. Like literally everything you could think of. He had chips, crackers, bread. Homeboy literally had a freaking tube of Pringles. He was just like throwing it out. I don't know if there's any fish over there or not. You can see there's like all this crap on top of the water. Savage, man. It was literally right next to the sign too that says, please do not feed animals. Yeah, man, as you guys can see, I moved over towards I think these fountains might be the key to success here. To be honest, I'm still not convinced that there's any fish in this pond. I, since I've been here, I've not seen one person catch any fish. Let me check actually where these Pringles were thrown. Let's see here. Dude, I I don't even see any sunfish. Oh gosh, the turtle's eating the Pringle, dude. Come on, junk food guy. That is not part of a balanced turtle diet. Dude, where the heck are these fish, man? Oh, all right, we're gonna go hit the spot that I have the most faith in. Holy. <sighs> That's a nice butterfly. That took a while. Big hill. So if y'all see what I see, hold on, let me get a better angle. I got some trees over here in the shade. Oh, would you look at that guys. It's pretty much the game plan for me right now. I'm just throwing this like little tiny bit of that big worm that we had. I kind of, I mean, it's it's on a little med rig jig head, bed rig, whatever you call it. Pretty much, I'm just kind of bouncing it off the bottom. I'm trying to get reaction straight because this water, dude, the freaking clarity is like negative two. So instead of relying on like the eyesight of the fish, like finesse presentation, like just throwing out, you know, like Texas rig, weightless worm, and kind of flail this guy around a little bit, see if anything, you know. I got a fish. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. First fish of the day. Oh, freaking yes, dude. Oh, don't come off. Come here, boy. Let's go. Oh my god. I was thinking about freaking moving too. So I casted this. Ow. Ow. All right, so ow. Chill, my guy. Whew. All right, so I casted this super, super. Like I kind of skipped it under those branches right there. Now I understand. That is not a trophy fish in any sense. But trust me, man, for this freaking body of water, and for that, I mean, I, does that count? I kind of cut the worm up a little bit. I mean, I made the challenge. I don't know, man. There we go. First fish of the day. Don't know. That might be the last. I got to try to catch some more, but that is the first one of the day. That is really what I remember from this pond. Just small little dinkers like that. But dude, these things are far and few in between. You can see it pretty decent here, but once you go out like a foot, dude, the water clarity is just terrible. 
right, buddy. Oh, jeez. He's full of energy. All right, man. Let's freaking go, dude. Now, for y'all, probably doesn't seem like it, but I've been here for a freaking while. I've been all around this place. Looks like everybody else who was fishing here has left. Dude, I'm telling you, man, this, this pond is cursed. All right, so above this, I was fishing at the pond. Now, this actually comes down to a little spillway. This is actually a really cool looking spillway right there, and there's actually... I don't know if y'all can see, I don't even know where they went. There was horses back there. Very scenic, man. We got views on views, but down here, I'm wondering if any fish washed down. I don't know if there was any rain recently, but it actually, like, it gets pretty deepish right there. I remember there used to be bluegill in there. I'm gonna take a look, maybe a couple casts, see if there's any bass that could be hiding under these rocks. Oh, see something down there, actually. Yeah, how sick would that be? A freaking giant bass in there? This looks, oh boy, super stealthy. Whoa, it gets like super deep over here. Freaking spiderweb, dude. Ah! Oh, dude. Dude, go here, boy. <laughs> second fish of the day. I, oh, boy. On the same bait, too. Hold on, hold on. Okay, second fish of the day. Slam back in there. Holy crap, man. I don't know what was worse there. His spines are the freaking thorns that was all right maybe that was not worth throw it down here a couple more times that's pretty cool though man i didn't even see it it was so deep yeah second fish of the day see if we can dig any others out of here ah yes excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me can any of you guys tell me where the big fish are you buddy hello what was that look at this size i don't know if y'all can tell or not that is a giant but these guys are freaking dinosaurs out here we got some storm clouds moving in all right I'm gonna try it over this way. I haven't been over here yet. Oh no, dude, those big ducks are eating the Pringles. Wonder if that's like that guy's pets. He's just trying to like grow an army of oversized geese. Are those geese, goose, ducks? What the heck are they? Dude, those are so freaking big, man. You can like train those to be bodyguards. I'm telling you, those are giant. I have a fish on. There we go. Decent fish. Actually, probably not that big. Let's go, dude. On the same, I'm gonna switch it up in a little bit. This is just was catching all the fish. Oh, another quality largey. I mean, that's at least six pounder. Yeah, I mean, don't want to brag, but another jumbo. Dude, I'm not even joking right now. I see a bluegill that's bigger than this thing in the water right there. I can feed this to freaking dinosaur birds over there. All right, get out of here, buddy. All right, I'm gonna throw this little thing around a little bit longer. Technically, it's not exactly you know, I don't know what the guy planned to do with the bait. Maybe he planned to do this, though. That's the fun part, man. You never know. But yeah, I'm going to jig this around a little bit more. Might put that chartreuse thing on it. The problem is, I don't know if there's big enough fish for, you know, the bigger, like, beaver bait, soft plastic, whatever the heck. I mean, we do know there's fish in here. That is confirmed. Not giant fish. I mean, that's a pretty big bluegill I just saw in there. Okay. Here's a fish. Dude, that, that might be a little bit better. Okay, come here, buddy. Still not like giant. Okay, this is the bait of choice. Dude, what the heck? There's somebody driving up. How do you not think? Yo, they're gonna hit the freaking dino birds. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I did catch a fish. What is going on here, man? Ah, sad part is that was probably the best like fish today so far. All right, I'll take this thing around. We'll work, we'll work, guys. Life advice. I don't know who the heck was fishing here. But yo, this is, this, this is not okay, man. Got some red worms right there. Got some Ziploc bags. Probably had some bait in it. Now this is like for obviously environmental concerns reasons. I mean, that's not good for the planet. But I mean, do you ever wonder why so many no fishing signs keep popping up freaking everywhere? I mean, obviously you have a lot of contributions. You got privacy things. Maybe a change in landowners, just, you know, stuff like that. But believe it or not, this is a big reason why a lot of you, I mean, even some of our favorite spots around. When people see stuff like this, I mean, first of all, it's just because fishermen are bad rep. And also, I mean, when trash starts piling up, people just don't want to deal with it anymore. You know, they relate fishermen into trash boom no fishing sign so yeah if, if you have trash man look at this see this trash right here boom there's literally a freaking trash can right there dude eh why not throw the jig a little bit out here i don't think i like have explained yet how awesome of a day it is here today it is like zero humidity maybe like mid to upper 70s it's kind of sloping downward now but dude this is, this is like the prime optimal day here to fish in Delaware. Humidity has been like skyrocketing here recently. So this is like freaking amazing, dude. All right, let's just face it, man. These fish are not getting jiggy with it. I could probably catch one of those fish if I had like the right gear. I just don't have the right hook and the right little bullet weight. I would just get rid of the jig altogether, kind of downsize the profile, but I do not have stuff I want. Hold on, one more cast. Watch, this is the one right here, dude.
What the heck? Yo, they're freaking chasing me. There's literally an army. Oh, she is bred. I don't know if that's a good idea though. They might not leave them alone. All right, pretty much what I did here, I'm still using the same Ned Rig jig head, but I put the little chartreuse thing on here, I guess. I mean, I'm hoping that this is gonna kind of bounce similarly. Maybe they'll be able to see this a little bit better too because of the water clarity. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't feel like we're tying. We're gonna try this out first. Hopefully we can catch, I don't know about the jig, but maybe on this we can catch. Holy crap, those things are going crazy. Come on, chartreuse. This is like the perfect color, honestly, to be using in this water right now. Oh, dude, that twister tail looks prime. Oh, let's get it out there a little more. I have a feeling this thing is definitely gonna get bit. It, this thing has to get bit, man. Oh my gosh, this is a golden retriever. It's pretty cool because while I'm fishing over on this side, like the dogs can swim over on that side. So like, get to see some dogs. I'm telling y'all, man, I'm gonna get a golden retriever someday. Oh my gosh, yeah, I did not realize how late it is here. We have a couple more casts that got this jig back out there. Now, as I said before, I mean, it might not seem like it to y'all, but I've been here for a long while. I'm telling you, man, this is... Like, I'm probably not coming back to this pond again for a while. I mean, the best thing here is the army of dinosaur birds. That's why it's attacking those girls. They're feeding it too. Those things are probably ready to pop. All right, y'all. I'm pretty much out of time. These people are freaking screaming. People are throwing rocks in the water. We're, we're just, I'm, I'm good, man. Not sure I need to come back here anytime soon. Excuse me, sir. They're going to kill us. They're not going to get you. <laughs> Whew. All right, y'all, that is pretty much going to do it here today for this video. I, I really don't know how this is going to turn out. I know we didn't catch a fish on every single bait that other people picked out, but I mean, that's life. Ugh. To be honest, man, I'm actually surprised more than anything that we caught fish and like multiple fish. Whew. So yeah, man, as I said, I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Hopefully it was pretty cool. I mean, we got inward secret assassin mode. We got some lures and... I actually caught some fish, dude, what the heck? If you guys enjoy this video, what are you doing here, Fly? Please make sure to go down and hit that thumbs up button. That really, really, really would mean a lot to me. Now, if you guys do enjoy my videos, but you're not already, make sure to go down there, click that subscribe button, and if you never want to miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. That way you know, actually make sure that YouTube lets you know when I put out a new video. By the way, this video idea was a suggestion from one of you guys. I'll leave the comment right here. So if you guys have to do any, you know, suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. All right, we gotta get on the road and get out of here. Shout out to Brothers AD for the comment selection from the last video if you guys want to win a shout out in the next video all you gotta do man go down there leave a comment i'll be putting it through you know a random generator and you could possibly be winning a shout out at the end of the next video yeah that's pretty much going to do it here for today so as always man thank you guys so much for all the support all i gotta say is let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video